All right, so we're gonna be hitting, uh, like Richard said, doing some deadlifts right now. We're gonna do eight eight sets. First three sets are warm up sets, so you just do uh, maybe like a 45 on each side. A 45 on each side for 10 reps. Do that for three sets. And then right after that warm up set, we're gonna be hitting five by five. So whatever you can do for five five reps, five times, that's what you put on there. What's up guys, Will here again, back with another video. Um, this video is going to be the uh, second day of our workout split. We have a three day split. Um, if you guys haven't seen the first day, uh, here's a link to the video. You guys can go check that out and then come to this one. Um, but today's video is going to be focusing on <clears throat> legs and deadlifts and shoulders. So let's get into this. Um, so yeah, like Richard said, we're going to be warming up with three three sets for deadlifts um you can do anywhere between six to ten reps for these uh we'll start off with a plate on each side for this the first warm-up set um <clears throat> and then for the uh for the second warm-up set we'll usually do anywhere between uh two plates two plates and a 25 um and obviously we're not going to be doing 10 reps of those we're probably doing six six reps or something like that just to warm us up for the heavy lift um and then yeah, so here I am right here doing the the second warm-up set of two plates on each side. And um, guys, when you're doing deadlifts, it's really important that uh, you really feel it in your glutes when you come up. Make sure you squeeze your glutes. Make sure you keep your chest proud and your shoulders back. We don't want to get in anyone injured here. Um, don't lock your knees when you come up. That's very important. Don't lock your knees. Don't lock any joint in any workout. And then here's Richard here doing the uh, third warm-up set of two plates and a 25 on each side. Um, we, uh, I mean, I, I tend to use the belt for almost all the sets because I've had, I have an old back, lower back injury from deadlifting and, um, my form really deteriorates without the belt. So I tend to use it for most, mostly every set. Now here, this is the first set of our working set. We'll do five sets of five reps. So this is me doing the five reps right here. That's the first set. Now here's here's Richard. This is um this is probably Richard's second to third set. He went up on weight. His back is way stronger than mine. So he's doing three plates and a 25 on each side right now. Um Yeah, I'm, I mean, I didn't go that heavy. I did feel my form deteriorate a little bit on that. So probably just going to decrease on weight for now. As you heard him, he said he's going to two minutes, so he brought the weight down for his next set. So right now he's doing three plates and a 15 on each side. Um, <laughs> Richard being a clown. But yeah, so as, if your form is deteriorating, guys, make sure... Make sure if your form is deteriorating, guys, make sure that you do bring that weight down because form is key. Form is important in every workout that you do. Um, don't don't compromise. Don't compromise your form for some heavy weight. It's not worth it. Okay, now what we're gonna be getting into right now is gonna be the uh, leg curls, and uh, for leg curls, we're just gonna do four sets of eight. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Four sets of eight. You can do. Uh, you can do heavy weight if you want. You can do lightweight. We tend to go pretty heavy. Um, with these guys, it's important to really go slow. Don't you don't have to go like fast doing these. You know, there's it's not a race. You know, just go slow. Feel the contraction. Feel your hamstrings, your glutes. Really squeeze your glutes and your hammies. Like you really want to feel it. Like I put the speed up. Um, I fast forward the video times two just so because I'm I'm sure you guys don't want to just sit here and watch us do four sets of leg curls. But I sped up the video. But in reality, we're going very slow. Feeling the contraction. You know, you really have that mind-muscle connection. Feel your muscles. And after the uh, after the fourth set, we'll go we'll go on to calves. Calves is the same thing. We'll do four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Um, so here, this is a calf variation that uh, you guys should try out at home. Uh, you use two two feet to go up, and then you come down on one calf, and you didn't just repeat that on the other side, as you can see the way I'm doing it right now. Try that one out and then do a good like 10 to 12 reps. And then right before you step off the machine, do like a burn set of like 10 to 15 real fast, real fast ones as you'll, as you'll watch me do in a second right there. Um, my calves are wicked burned out, so I didn't do 15. <laughs> 
Um, all right, and then that would conclude the leg portion of the workout for this day. And then we'll go right on to um, shoulder press. So this we do the seated shoulder press. We don't do the military press standing up just because um, I really feel that in my back and I don't like it. So we warm up with about a 25 on each side and then we'll also do three, three sets of these, six to eight reps. Um, this is my first set right here, my first working set with the plate on each side. I think I, I did about 10, 10 repetitions for these. And then I went up on weight to 10 plate, to two plates, to one plate and a 10 on each side actually, sorry. And uh, I did this for about eight reps. And then I did do another set, but I didn't record it. I went up um, an extra five pounds on each side. And then we uh, proceed with the workout to Arnold Press. Um, this is one of my favorite workouts for shoulders. I really do feel like this brings out the uh, the boulder shoulders. This works out your front delts, your your side delts, and and a little bit of your rear delts too. Um, I really do like this workout. Uh, we we didn't do any variation of rear delts in this workout, just because we were pressed for time and we had to get out of the gym pretty fast. Um, but our but um, in the next video, I will show you guys some rear delt workouts. I really like to work my rear delts just because I feel like I don't. A lot of people don't hit it enough, and it's very important to have the rear delts. It really does shape your back, and it really does give you that that broad shoulder look. And it's very important to work out your rear delts. So I'll be showing you guys in a later video. But um, yeah, our rep scheme, our sets and rep schemes for every workout is basically the same as four, four to three to four sets, eight to ten reps each. You know, we're trying to go heavy, so the rep the rep range is gonna go down. You guys, as you guys will see in the, in the later videos. Then we'll just do some lateral raises to finish off the workout. Also four sets, eight to ten reps. Um, we didn't record all of them, obviously, because we don't want... I'm sure you guys don't want to just sit here watching us do these, these repetitive moves. But just so you guys get the idea, we recorded one set of each. Here it is. The lateral raises. Um, my lat... My, uh, my, I noticed my left side was a little lower than my right side, so um, I've been trying to fix that. But what's important with the lateral raises is that your elbow comes up first. You should try to have your elbow come up first, and that way you'll really feel it in your shoulders. But um, that concludes day two, guys, of the split. Uh, we'll be recording the uh, third day. Um, pretty soon I'll probably post it either tomorrow or Thursday for you guys. But um, yeah, that's... That concludes the workouts. If this video was helpful to you guys in any way, um, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions.